I wanted to make an addendum to my previous blends video, a blendendum, if you will. And first off, I created a blend for the fuselage. Don't make fun of my fuselage. Uh, I added some additional sections in there and changed some of the different dimensions. But I want to show you a couple other different things that you can do. So first off, I can go to the sections tab and I'm going to insert one more section. And you can do offset dimension from the previous section. From, you can choose from the drop down list from a different section or you could locate it by a reference, uh, select an item that it would go through. But I'm going to offset it and let's say I wanted to offset it from section number one. I can do that from the drop down list and let's drag it out to a distance here. Change the dimensional value. And another thing is that when you're creating your sections, the first and or the last section can be a single point. So generally there's the rule that all the different sections have to have the same number of vertices. If you need to have an unequal number of vertices in different sections, you can define a blend vertex where two vertices from one vertex converge down to a single vertex in another one. But again, the first section and or the last section can be a single point, which will, I will drop in here. Now let's hit the check mark. And you see the preview how it is creating the last section where it converges down to that point. And another option that you have, if I go to, let me see, where is it in here? The end section here, we have the boundary condition. It's set to sharp. If I go to the drop down list, I can choose smooth and you'll see that it ends up rounding out that last section. So let's hit the check mark. So that's good for the other, for my first blend. Now I'm going to create another blend and I want to show you that I have a couple of datum planes in the model and I created a couple of sketches to represent a wing airfoil. Let me turn off my datum plane visibility and again to create a blend we can go to the shapes drop down and choose blend and first when I created a blend we sketch the different sections, but instead I can use the radio button to select the different sections and select the first section in here. And let's insert a second section and select it. And again, it records the number of different vertices. Here you see the preview of the feature and let's hit the Oh yeah, one other thing to note, here we have the ability to add a blend vertex in the active section. Again, if you have unequal number of vertices between the different sections, but that's good. Hit the check mark and there we have the other blend created. So just a few other additional points to note about creating blends. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.